How's it going everyone? So this is a video you have all been asking for, a lot of you anyhow. Um, I would do it out in the shed, but my shed's kind of a mess right now. I'm trying to go through things and get all my wood cutting gear uh, organized. I just had to run up to uh, our tribal office and pick up some uh, more wood permits, resale permits. So trying to get all my firewood gear back in order. It's I've uh, been just going, 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 and anyhow, today's video is brought to you by J and J Tree Service in Saskatchewan, Canada. J and Janelle Ferris um, sent us this combo can. Um, they're getting harder and harder to find in the states, and I honestly like this one a little more than the ones I have. The other ones I have are. Briggs and Stratton. Uh, they're good cans, but I kind of like this one. Uh, this brand is made by Scepter. But uh, a lot of folks are asking how I went about using AW pop bottle um, pour spouts. I made them out of AW cans. So You want to cut these things off here. Utility knife, pair of scissors. Get these things off of here. They're no good at all. Just don't poke your gas can. It's like so. These junk. <clears throat> you want to. Uh, you want it the same diameter as the inside up against the threads on your uh, cap. So what I usually do is I'll come down, I'll get up here a little closer. I'll come down low, let's see here. That way I always have plenty of material to remove. You can always remove some, but you can't put it back, right? I'll give myself plenty of material even though I don't need it just for video purposes so and I haven't washed them out so you want it to fit right tied in against some threads as you can see they uh, are a little bit big and honestly let me uh, pause the video and I'll go get a marker and I just kind of had a better idea. Okay, now that you got a marker, you'll take and mark the right up against the ring here. Hopefully the camera's picking that up. Now you want it a tight fit down in there. That way once you uh, tighten it down onto your uh, combo can, it forms around so you want it big to where it forms over that and gives you a decent seal right here so we'll get this one trimmed up and go from there hopefully Kels don't get mad I used her little stool here I built for her I built her a desk out of that uh all that pine tree we milled up this last summer I built her a desk to have here at home to work on college work and do her paperwork for school. Sorry for the background noise. I do live in town and I do not like it. Okay. Fit it in there. Like I said, you want it kind of a tight fit. That way when you screw it down on there, it forms right around the jug. And it'll be a hard start on there the very first time. And just like so. We'll pop it off and I'll show you guys what I mean. But 
it forming too. Well, this one didn't push too far down in there. But all my other cans, it uh, flattened out the pop bottle and made a pretty decent seal. Now I know some folks are having trouble saying uh, they didn't get a good seal and there's, there's no rubber o-ring or gasket or anything. I don't use it, I just screw it down tight. And uh, you know, every once in a while you get a little bit of leakage, but the main reason I do this is because pouring out of that bigger hole, you spill it all over your saw and stuff. This way it's a little more controlled. Yeah, we're gonna get the other one done up here. And uh, that's how I do it. Now I will save these things just because, and I'll usually toss them in a toolbox or something I take to the woods, just in case I, I broke one of these the other day and I did not have this. So I am gonna save these just in case I break one out there in the woods, which I did, it was super cold and it shattered real easy. Well, there you have it, folks. A&W pour spouts. Another thing, take these silly stickers off. Use a heat gun, whatever you have to, or if they come off, perfect. I don't know why they put these silly things on there. But anyhow, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this little video. Um, a lot of folks have been asking about it. I apologize. It's taken forever to get out. And also, big thank you to Jay and Janelle Ferris. Go check out their channel. I'll drop a link in the description. Um, if you guys are into wild game cooking, uh, Kelsey and I have another channel. It's called Cooking Wild with David and Kels. Um, and we show different ways we cook our wild game uh i just made a video it'll be up on that channel here shortly um of uh deer meat chili it was out of a back strap i know some of you are going to get on me about using a back strap in chili but we had it in the refrigerator we had taken out a big package of it and we had only used half well it needed to be used up kels wanted chili so i figured what the heck we'll just put it in with that but man it turned out amazing so if you guys are into that sort of thing uh wild game cooking and it's simple, it's not, you know, extravagant chef type thing. It's simple meals. I like cooking in one pot or big uh, fry pan if I can um, keep it simple. Um, yeah, go check out that channel. I'll have that up. I know we have a couple other videos up, um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Wish you good health and happiness as always. And uh, when Kelsey gets home, we're going to do an unboxing video. Uh, a couple kind folks from Colorado. Um, very, 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 very fine folks sent us a package. Um, true inspiration. Uh, I idolize the person that uh, sent this stuff. Hearing his backstory and seeing what he's done. So you guys stick around for that. We'll do an unboxing when Kelsey gets home. Um, yeah, enough rambling. Love you guys. Over and out.